everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have my project polish update for you. Yeah, I am not sure what to do with this, uh, this whole thing, but we'll get into that in a second. I'm just going to start this off before anyone asks because someone always asks whenever I have like a, a t-shirt that has something that has words on it. I'm just going to to uh, show you guys what it says. If you have something to say, raise your hand and then underneath it says and place it over your mouth. Because someone always asks what my shirt says and then I have to go back and look at the video because um, I never remember what shirt I'm wearing. So that's what that says. Yes, snark and sarcasm. That is what I'm all about. All right, let's get into Project Polish. I'm glad that I have done this this year and I will be doing it again next year. I just don't know how I'm going to do it next year. And I kind of want your guys' advice because um, that's that's how um, that's how I am. But before I get your advice, I'm going to show you my one empty and um, where everything else is in this project. So the one that I finished is the Kiss Gel Strong Pistachio. I kind of miss this color. I love the way this wears. I I use my fingernails as tools, which is why they're short right now because I ended up getting some really low um, splits in them. So I had to cut them down so that it didn't cause any problems. But this, it wears like a, like a champ. It really does. Um, I wouldn't say it wears like a gel polish because those are pert near indestructible. But this, I can get solid three to four days out of it unless I'm gardening. And then... Um, you know, I just get bored with it or I get some tip wear or whatever, but it lasts way better than any other polish that I have. That's like just a basic polish. So I kind of miss that one, but I'm glad it's done at the same time. So that puts me officially in this particular project at 10 polishes. I feel pretty good about that. Um, I do have polishes from other projects that I have finished. So that is not all of the po polishes that I finished on the year, but in project polish this year, I have finished 10 little pat on the back. I feel good about that. Let's get into what is still in here because um, I'm not sure what I'm going to finish and that's where it comes down to you guys helping me figure out what I should do for next year. All right, starting with the Revlon Streetwear in Chilling. Um, as you know, I had added some clear polish to this because it was getting thick and it had gone almost up to this gold line. It is back down to just about where this red line is. And it's starting to get thick again, which I find very frustrating. I don't know if I'm going to add some thinner into it or um, I'll figure something out because I I like to use mine completely so that there is none left in there. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next month. Um, I, I promise nothing. It's what I have on my nails today with one of the toppers that's in here. I do really like it. I still enjoy it, but um, I hate that it's getting thick again. I could potentially add some more of my um, clear in and I, I may do that, but um, then that level goes higher and higher. I don't know. We'll just have to see. I'll have to play it by ear how I want to do that. All right. Revlon Cherries in the Snow. I've only used this once since the last update and I was not able to make a new line. I was kind of at the top of this blue line and now I'm like right at the bottom of it and it does get wider. So, you know. A lot less progress is being shown. Revlon Sun Flash. <clears throat> Pardon me. Um, I was able to make a new line on this one. Um, let's see. I was at that purple line. Now I'm at the red line. Probably not holding it straight, but I am making progress on it. I do think I can probably have this one done by the end of the year. I probably can have the blue done as well. I'm going to put the, the potential empties separately. <clears throat> All right. This next one is what I have over... Um, streetwear chilling. This is um, the Essence Effect Nail Polish, and I always forget what its name is. Icy Fairy. I did make a new line on this one. I was at purple, now I'm at red. I think I can have this one done by the end of the year. Potentially three more empties. Wet and Wild Formidable, I am not going to finish this year. I'm sad that I'm not going to, but at least I was able to make a new line. You can see my bottom line there. Very minimal um, progress on that one because I've been working on so many other polishes to get them done. And yeah, it's just not going to happen. I'm not saying that I'm not going to use this anymore this year, but this is definitely not going to be a focus for me. Just like... Um, like Revlon Cherries in the Snow is probably not going to be a focus for me because 
I just, I can't finish it this year. I mean, I might be able to do the red, especially, especially around Christmas time, the holidays, I tend to wear red more. Who knows? I might be able to do that one. Well, the jury is out on this one. Um, Sally Hansen Be Long, it was a base coat and I've turned it into like a Franken polish. Anytime, like not this high, but if it, this was like really, really low and I had say like four or five drops left in it and I couldn't actually do my nails with it, I will pour it into here and whatever it makes, it makes because, you know, I, I just don't like to waste things. So this one is definitely not going to be done this year because you can see I had it down to here, but as I've added um, those last few drops of things and some, some clear to make it so it's not super thick, it just keeps going higher and higher. That is definitely going to be here next year. Um, all right, Victoria's Secret Purple Rain. I can't tell where this is, and I've used this like two or three times since the last update. I can see like a little bit of windowing right in here, which is how I was able to get this blue line last time. But like I said, I've used it two or three times. I cannot see down in there, at least not from the outside. Let me see if I can see on the inside. Yeah, it's just too dark. I can't tell where it is. This potentially could be done this year because it is low. Um, we'll just have to see if I can pull it off. We'll have to see. So that's potentially four. And then, of course, the top coat. It's like a um, nail hardener, thickener, top coat, base coat kind of combo. This one's not going to be done. Um, I basically added this in just to start getting some progress on it because it's big and bulky and awkward. And, um, yeah, I, ha I knew that was still going to stay in here. Um and it wasn't going to get done. And I'm okay with that because um, I originally wanted 15 done this year, 15 polishes as a whole. I've already got 10 done. I potentially have four more here. Plus, um, like I said, I finished a few in other projects. I can't remember exactly how many. I'm sure someone has been keeping track. It, it, it's in my inventory um, in my empties and stuff like that. So I do actually keep track of it, but I just right off the top of my head, forget about it. I cannot remember. So 10 in this project, potentially maybe four more, two toppers and then two colors. I think I'm going to achieve my goals of, I, I, I know I'm going to achieve my goals of hitting 15 polishes this year. I'm not worried about that at all, but um, here's where I need your help. <laughs> I've kind of alluded to this before. Um, I wasn't sure how I wanted to do this for next year. I'm still kind of on the fence of things. Do I just want to start fresh at the beginning of the year? And no matter where any of these sit for next year, just, you know, start with a whole different like group of colors for next year. Do I roll some of these over if I haven't finished them? I don't know. Or, or the possibility of, I could just keep going with what is currently in here and just add stuff into it and just keep project polish going as like an ongoing thing and just, you know, try to get some stuff knocked out, but add stuff in to kind of inspire me. I, I'm, I'm kind of open to all ideas at the moment. I don't have like a preconceived thought of how I want to proceed with this. So I'm kind of curious what you guys think I should do with this. I, like I have, Nothing against the colors that may still remain in here. But um, I definitely don't want, think this is like the end all be all. I don't want to like continue on if I don't add stuff into it. Because you know, you've, all, you, you've been watching. You know, I just, I feel like I'm missing out on something. Like I want other colors in here. So let me know what you think. Do I just start fresh? Maybe bring one or two of these back. Um... Just keep rolling and bring some new stuff in just to kind of refresh it a little bit or, um, you know, let me know what you think. Because I, I really don't know how to approach this. There, I, I see the merits of doing multiple different scenarios, so I'm open. I am definitely going to be doing Project Polish next year. I just, I'm not sure how I want to approach it. So let me know what you think. And um, I think that's everything. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.